So today we're going to be learning about wood joints and how to draw them in Fusion 360. So first off, if you go to Collins um, Connect and you look down to Section 3 and then Section 3 and Joining and Assembly and Joining Wood. We've then got descriptions and examples of these different types of, of joints here. You can click on them to get a little bit uh, of a different view there. Um, so today we're going to be drawing these three. We're going to draw the butt joint, the mitre joint, the lap joint, and we're going to draw uh, a finger joint, a slightly simpler version of that. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to start with the butt joint. So here's one I've already drawn. So I'm just going to close that out. And so we can draw a new one together. So the first thing I've done is I've gone into here and I've made a new project called Wood Joints. If you don't know how to do that, it's just as simple as coming here and clicking New Project. But I know that I want that to be in Wood Joints. So I'm coming into Wood Joints now. And I'm going to make a new drawing straight into Wood Joints. So here we are, ready to do that. So I'll close that out so we get a bit more space. I'm going to switch on my origins here and I'm going to choose this foot surface here to draw on. So either I can click create sketch and click here or I can just click R for rectangle and click this surface. I'm going to come from my origin point. I'm going to draw up just roughly. I'm going to let go of my mouse. You can see that one of the dimensions is highlighted blue. So I want to make that one 70. I'm going to click tab and I'm going to make the other one 200. These dimensions have become a little bit clearer later on, but it's just to make some of the drawing easier. I'm going to click to finish that sketch. And I get the 3D view. I'm going to click on zoom to fit. Okay, so now I can see what I've drawn. I'm going to click E for extrude, or I could have clicked up here, extrude, or indeed press pull, it all does the, the same thing. I'm going to make it 18 because plywood comes in dimensions that are visible by three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, etc. So 18 is a good measurement for me. And I'm going to click here. Now I want it to look like wood. So I'm going to click A for appearance. And I'm going to choose the wood I want. If you get this little download error, it means you need to download the wood or sorry, the, the material before you can apply it. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You need to choose the image, not the text and just bring it across and apply it there and make sure that's applying to bodies, components, not, not just faces. So now I've got one of my bits of wood. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it with the appearance like here and here, here and here and here, that they're slightly separated rather than this one joined together. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to go to assembly, sorry, construct even. So show again, click this face, go to construct, offset plane, click here and I want to move this face off. So I want to move it by 20, so we get a bit of space there. You can see here, we've now moved away by 20 millimeters and I can make that you know, however long I want, like around 20, because that tends to look pretty good. Now, I want to draw a new sketch on this plane. So again, I could click new sketch or I could just click R for rectangle. So I can rectangle and put it here. And I'm gonna line it up exactly at the top. Then I'll come down and get it exactly at the bottom. You can see it's, it's very slightly off, so I'm going to put 70 in here, and again 18 up here. So that there is my edge. So now I'm going to click here, the side if you prefer, sorry, rather than edge. I'm going to click E for extrude, and I'm going to make this one 150. I'm going to click A for appearance again and give it the same material. And I'm going to switch off my origins here. And I'm now going to spin around so we can see what we've created. So there we are. This is a butt joint. Now, just a couple of other things to show you. If we want to make it look a bit more like an IKEA instruction manual, we can change our display setting. So like this, and again, we can still rotate and you can see how that does look just like an IKEA instruction manual there when we do that. If we want, we can close out this joint. So we do right click, move copy, 
select what we want to move and it's body sometimes it will default to faces but you need to move body so click the body we want to move click the plane of movement this one and you remember we moved it by 20 mil so we can just push that back there to 20 registering up here is 20 and now that joint is closed if you like that's joined together so i'm just going to undo that Escape this. Do the move. Go up and just go back to before that, and let's move back apart. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So that is how you draw a butt joint in Fusion 360.